Songbird, an airdrop, Flare Network, and Spark. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the Altcoin Trader channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss all of these topics, so let's get into it. So for those of you that did not know, Flare's Songbird promises another airdrop to XRP Ripple holders. XRP holders who participated in the Flare Network snapshot in December 2020 will qualify to receive a second airdrop soon. Flare Networks recently announced the Songbird SGB airdrop that goes hand in hand with the release of the Songbird network. So what is Songbird? Songbird is a canary network for Flare. The canary network is used to test features for a mainnet. Typically a canary network is an operational blockchain with a defined token supply. These tokens are used to test various features. Canary networks differ from test nets in the sense that a test net have an unlimited token supply that is available in increments. Just like Polkadot has the Kasuma network as their canary network, Flare has Songbird. With the launch of Flare on Songbird, the network will have improved security, stability and credibility. In the long term, Songbird will be used to test governance-led changes to the Flare network and dApps, decentralized apps, before it is rolled out onto Flare. The Songbird airdrop for XRP holders, let's get into that. With the launch of Songbird, Flare Network will airdrop SGB Songbird tokens in the next six weeks. Best thing is, you don't have to do anything to qualify for the airdrop. If you participated in the Spark token airdrop from December 2020, you are instantly qualified to receive SGB Songbird tokens. In December 2020, XRP holders who participated in the Spark airdrop were allocated one-to-one -one Spark tokens that will be distributed at a later stage. According to a blog post by Flare Network, for every one Ripple XRP you had at the time of the December snapshot, you will receive a 0.1511 SGB Songbird token. SGB Songbird will have a total supply of 15 billion and they are used to perform a governance role. The Flare Network was incubated by Xpring, Ripple's startup accelerator program in November 2019. The network aims to make Ethereum smart contracts compatible with non-EVM compat compatible networks such as the XRP Ledger. Flare will support XRP, XLM, LTC and Deutsch. How to earn passive income from Spark According to the blog post, Flare is expected to launch at the end of September following successful testing of all systems on Songbird. Until then, these are a few various ways you can earn passive income from your Spark airdrop. You can vote and earn rewards. There are two ways you can vote. Delegate your vote to a data provider of the FTSO and if they are awarded, so are you. Or you can vote on governance issues that may directly or indirectly affect your Spark tokens. Another way to earn passive income is to stake your Spark tokens. Use your Spark tokens to provide collateral as an agent to the F protocols in return for passive income. You'll get paid in the underlying assets that are currently being minted, namely Doge, XRP and LTC. You can, a third way to do this is to provide liquidity to Flare Finance. Flare Finance is a decentralized finance, a DeFi ecosystem that will utilize smart contracts on the Flare network. Flare Finance will feature six products, three tokens and a DEX decentralized exchange. Use your Spark tokens to provide liquidity to Flare Finance and to earn additional income. In conclusion, it is said that Spark will be in high demand and the Flare network will become the community of communities for the simple reason that the network has a built-in inflation mechanism that is set at 10% per annum. This 10% is used to incentivize those who actively support the network. At the same time, the community has the power to vote and up the ante.